what's up everybody 915 man here doing a video today i'm gonna do a long video it's gonna be close to 20 minutes so go ahead and get yourself something to drink some coffee an ice cold one and uh, kick back and watch this video if you like these videos it's not gonna feel like 20 minutes at all it's gonna feel like a minute two minutes five minute video so as you can see, I picked up a block of Chato. I got this Chato from my buddy Ray. Um, I had mentioned to him in talking that I need some. He hooked it up for absolutely free. And uh, I did end up trading some Zoofrags for some Marine Pure Biofilter Media. Now, I think this stuff is pretty cool. You know, I've seen the videos and everything. But this is going to be the first time that I actually use this and I'm going to use this in my 150 gallon reef tank. Now there is another type of uh, something similar. Uh, I was looking at the Max Spect Nano Media. Um, it's basically the same thing but uh, instead of having a big old block of this stuff it's uh, a lot more compact and I was thinking about using some of that in uh, my frag tank build that I got going on. Um, but I would be pitting it someplace like in the overflow away from uh, all the other frags like because I'm going to show you guys what I did in that video. I actually have the tank up and running now but uh, look at this stuff is just porous. I actually got it for free from my buddy Ray who just traded some frags and uh, I'm going to use it uh, in my tank in my 150. Now I also got a new piece of equipment. I got this from reefbreeders.com. I'm going to have the link in the uh, description below. And uh, I think this pump is actually pretty sweet. It's called the RPM. And uh, it has a reverse uh, flow pattern. You can use it. It actually comes with a battery backup adapter. And uh, you can set it, program it. And uh, it's good to go. I'm going to use this one in uh, my frag tank as well and uh, I like it uh, because it's a low profile. I think this pump would do really nice in low profile areas something where you don't want a big oil pump hanging out um, you want to kind of blend it in into the rock work or something like that. You can go ahead and pause the video so you can read the instructions uh, kind of read what is going on things like that but I want to show you this quick unboxing of the pump because you probably haven't seen this pump uh, and I do like reef readers. This is why I picked it up. And as you can see, it's a really low profile pump. And it kind of reminds me of an MP40. Small power brick. And uh, the reason why I pick them up from reefbreeders.com is, is because they come with a warranty. Now, I just wanted to show you this adapter. You plug this in into the pump. The other end, you actually pump plug it into one of those portable... Uh, power bricks that you can use to charge your cell phones or something like that and uh, it'll actually run your pump for you so with that that is pretty sweet in case you ever come up with um, an emergency or you want to take a pump with you to a frag swap or something like that uh, this would be pretty nice I have been using this pump for quite a while since about uh, end of May early June uh, Logan from Reef Beer sent it out to me and uh, I've been using it for a while in my 150 gallon tank and then I'm also going to be using it on my frag tank which I've been using it. I do like that it comes with a 12 month warranty uh, straight from Logan at Reef Breeders and uh, I do like that it has six different wave modes that you can program it. So it is a pretty nice little pump if you're looking at either a nano or even into your big tanks, uh, this pump would do pretty well. And I'm not just saying that I have been um, actually using it for a while. A side-by-side -side comparison you can see between the QP16 and the uh, RPM pump is uh, quite noticeable. That's why I'm saying this thing could go on the back of your glass and blend in pretty nice. Now I do want to show you my frag tank that I had been uh, messing around with. The one that... My buddy Matt built me. Well, I got the stand. I ended up using some uh, two by fours, stained it, did a really light stain on it. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the uh, return pump. 
Uh, I didn't go with this return pump. I ended up using an Eheim compact uh, because it was just uh, a lot smaller. And I already had the pump. Uh, this pump was actually too much flow. And with the Eheim compact, I was able to slow down the flow a little bit more and go from there. I did use a ball valve, and I'm going to show you uh, the plumbing here in a second. You know, it just wouldn't be reefing if you didn't run into any problems. I did run into some problems in this tank. The Most of the plumbing that I, I already had existing, either from my buddy Tim or I just had it laying around in my garage. That's how you know that you've been in reefing too long. Usually you have extra um, parts laying around. Uh, the green tubing, I got it from my SCA 150. I didn't use it. Um, the strainers, also from my... SCA 150 but let me tell you about the problems I ran into some problems with the one inch uh, bulkheads I ordered four bulkheads from Marine Depot two of the bulkheads didn't fit the one inch pipe you know they sealed perfectly but when it was time to put the one inch PVC pipe through the bulkhead like this two of them didn't fit and that was a big problem so what ended up happening is I contacted Marine Depot. I sent them a video. I showed them that, you know, these are the brand new bulkheads that I got from them. And they ended up sending me four brand new bulkheads. And uh, that was more than fair. They ended up sending them uh, overnight. And I got to keep the other two bulkheads that, that worked. So that was pretty, pretty sweet. So thank you guys. I busted out the Dremel right here because because I'm going to make some uh, clean cuts on some black egg crate that I had. I just want to make them a little bit cleaner. You know, usually I use some type of snips and uh, they come up a little bit jagged. But I'm going to use the Dremel, go ahead and smooth it out because I'm going to make a frag rack out of this stuff. And I'm going to put it inside my brand new 20 gallon frag tank on the top. And I want to show you how it came out. It didn't take me long to uh, fill this baby out. Um, I actually have it quite full. So if you guys ever want to buy some frags, you guys can go ahead and hit me up at 915-MANG, M-A-N-G, at gmail.com, or hit me up on the Instagram at 915-MANG. Or just drop me a message, email me. We'll make a frag pack or something like that. I uh, did kind of try to start messing around on eBay, tried selling some frag packs, you know, and uh, kind of just support my hobby addiction because, as you guys know, this hobby, very addictive, um, keeps you busy, and uh, most of us have just a, a love for this. I'm not trying to get rich at all, but uh, you know what? If it supports the hobby a little bit, hey, why not? Let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom of this frag tank and uh, show you the overflow real quick. Now you see that green tubing. The reason I have it like that is because a dorsal overflow wouldn't exactly fit. And what I did is um, underneath the bulkhead on the far left is actually the drain. And then uh, on the right hand side is the uh, main drain. But as you can see, this tank is Fully loaded. Hit me up for all your ZOA needs. This RPM pump is awesome. I'm going to put it on the feed mode so you can do a top down look of the, the frags and everything. Um, I love that it has a 10 minute mode feed mode, a 20 minute feed mode. Um, and it's taking care of this flow in this reef tank pretty, um, pretty easily. I like that it doesn't take up a lot of space. And so that's the reason why I'm going to use it on my top frag tank. And I'm also going to use it on the bottom frag tank. It's looking pretty sweet. I have tons of little frags. And uh, most of these were from the 20 gallon tank. And inside the overflow where I just showed you guys, that's where I'm thinking about buying some of those uh, nano bricks, you know, for biological filtration. Uh, so the beneficial bacteria can live in it. But I got tons of frags. That's my custom frag rack. Another one that says 915 Mang. And I picked it up from uh, my buddy at Blue Tides Acrylics. 
You hooked it up, but this frag rack in front of you on the bottom screen is the one that I just made right now. And uh, it's pretty overloaded already. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same process on the bottom of this frag tank in a 40 gallon breeder. I just want to show you what it looks like just with the daylights. And uh, towards the end of the video, we'll go ahead and crank out uh, a video with these guys in the blue. So you guys can go ahead and look at that and consider hitting me up for all your ZOA needs. I'm not expensive guys, just a hobby. Now I am using an Aquamax hang on back skimmer and this thing is a little beast, okay? This thing is a beast. I had it on my 20 gallon long uh, and I just didn't want to throw it away because I knew I'd be using this thing again. Uh, it's on a hang on back. Right now I have it on this side. I do ideally I would like it to move it on the side of the tank so I can have more uh, viewing room. On the bottom of this tank I'm using my 24 inch Reef Breeder Photon version 2 and eventually I'd like to stick some acros or something like that in this tank because this LED is uh, more than capable to uh, take care of it but for now I'm just gonna have it holding up some Zoas. You can see all the frag rack room that I have right here. My drain, I got a little simple filter sock. Um, I got an emergency drain on the left that I need to dial in. And then my return going up in the center. Um, but this is just kind of like a project that I did right away. Um, I was just going to do the uh, brand new acrylic frag tank on the top. But I really like how it, everything came out. Let me know what you guys think, if it looks crap. Fine, let him let me know in the comments below. Love to hear it. But I think it looks pretty good. I am gonna stick a ball valve on the uh, emergency drain right there that's dripping right there on the left end. I'm just gonna stick a ball valve. I'm not even gonna glue it. And uh, I still I would like a auto top off or something like that for this tank. I've just been using the five gallon bucket manually uh, auto top off. The tank was a little bit loud, but I was able to uh, dial it in. Now the good old reef welder right here, um, I just boiled it up. This stuff is reusable. You ever screw up with reef welder, you can reuse it. Just throw it in some hot water. Make sure you wear some gloves because the hot water will uh, mess you up. But I, I got some frags, guys. I got these frags from my buddy Alan and Daniel from the Coral Reef. Spent about uh, two something, 30 something dollars of frag. But if you guys didn't see that video with the uh, LFS, I did some top-down video of their tank. Man, they had some fire in there. So two something, I think it's a great deal. And uh, I went ahead and epoxied it in with the uh, reef welder. And the uh, polyp is, extension is good. Everything is doing well. And I think that once this stuff grows out, it's going to look really, really nice. So once we come back and we look at this video, maybe in a couple months, these sticks are going to grow really well. Um, things are going to fill out really nicely. But you can see, I also used that reef welder to uh, secure my rock so it would just didn't fall over and break. Um, I tucked it into the rock and then I used some super glue as well. Uh, I picked some of that reef welder on this frag. It's one of the newer frags that I picked up also from Allen and... Daniel at the Coral Reef super glued it onto my overflow and I can't wait to see what everything looks like. Um, I also peed a little rainbow Monty on this rock right here and that's going to grow in, fill out the... Uh, I just can't wait man until everything grows out in this tank. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this video here, show you one of the new newer pieces, one of my favorite pieces right here. It's really sweet. But I got a really good deal from my uh, LFS, the Coral Reef. But before I end this video, guys, I just want to show you my frag tank. Uh, I love Zoas. I hope you guys love Zoas too. Uh, I love the colors and uh, everything just pops. I'm going to show you a little bit closer look at these Zoas. I did a, a video on Instagram, you know. Of this tank and I think it looked pretty sweet and uh, make sure you guys follow me there 915 Mang on the Instagram it's a private account you gotta request me 
Um, I do that so I don't get spammed and stuff like that. But let's take a little bit of closer look at this tank and uh, look at all the candy. Um, I hope you guys have a sweet tooth like me. I just want all the Zoes that I can get. I'm starting to get into Acros thanks to my LFS. They have a nice selection right there. And um, the top-down shots are my favorite, as you can see. Everything is looking good. I have the uh, flow off. And uh, what kind of light am, am I using? I'm using the Coral Box Nano that they uh, sell on Reef Breeders. There's a link in the description. If you click that link and you buy something, actually get credit now. So that's pretty sweet. Shout out to Logan. And uh, hit me up if you guys want some candy, guys. Until then, you guys have a good one. You guys like and subscribe. You guys take care, and uh, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Love to hear what you guys think.